Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this bronzy, shimmery, glowy kind of makeup look. So if you guys want to see that, then keep on watching. So first, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline uh, Baby Skin. Oh my gosh, that was hard to say. And I'm just going to be applying that in the areas where I have the most pores. So that's usually around my nose, my forehead, and a little bit of my chin. This stuff is really optional for you guys, but it really helps my foundation stick on. Then I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm going to be putting that on my eyelids, kind of to act as if it's the base or kind of the primer, because I kind of like concealers I'm using as a primer. Then I'm going to be taking the CoverGirl translucent powder and I'm just going to be tapping that on my eyelids so that way I set it in. Then I'm going to be taking my Tarte Clay Play palette and I'm going to be taking this kind of warm bronzy color and I'm going to be putting that all over my eyelids, merely just focusing it on my crease and bringing it all the way over to my inner corner as you guys can see right here. <music> Next, I'm going to be taking this darker brown cooler shade and I'm going to be putting that in the outer corner V, the part where it makes your eyes the most defined. So it's not exactly on the crease yet, but it's just in the outer corner and I'm just going to be putting that on and building it up until I get my desired darkness, I guess. <music> Then going back to that warm bronzy shade, I'm just going to be putting that on top of where we put the other color first and really bring it in and blending it in to make it the most kind of smoky look, I guess. Then taking an even darker shade, I know it's kind of hard to see on the camera that it's actually darker, but it is darker, but I'm going to be putting that on top of where I put the other color in the outer corner, and I'm really blending it in, taking my time, so that way everything looks flawless. Then using a flat shader brush, I'm going to be taking my Naked 2 palette and taking this really champagne-y brown color and I'm just going to be putting that in the center of my eyelid to really make my eyes open up and get that whole glow going on. Really take your time with the step of patting everything in and instead of swiping it because that's how you get the most pigment out of any color. Going back to that medium brown, I'm going to be using a smaller brush and I'm just going to be putting that on my lower lash line to really blend in with the upper eyelid. Then I'm going to be taking an eyeliner brush and I'm going to be mixing these two dark brown and black colors and I'm just going to be lining the top of my eyelids to really kind of create a smoked out eyeliner and it will make your eyelash base look a lot thicker. Then I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes and putting some mascara on and it doesn't really matter about what mascara you're using, you're just doing this that way when you put on some fake eyelashes, it will just blend in. Then I'm going to be taking these eyelashes that I actually got from the Dollar Tree and they're from Wet n Wild. But if you can use this like Twitter eyelash hack, you can really make it look super fluffy by just running your spoolie all over it. And here I'm just going back with the black eyeshadow to really blend in the whole fake eyelash band. <music> Now time for the eyebrows. I'm just fluffing up my eyebrows and getting them to place with a spoolie. I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's not exactly the Brow Wiz, it's like, like the triangle one. And I'm just filling in my eyebrows here. But if you guys want how I fill in my eyebrows, then just comment down below. Then using my L'Oreal Lumi Glotion, I'm just applying that in the area where I really want my glow going on, and I'm just going to be blending that out with my finger. Then using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup Foundation, I'm just going to be putting that all over my face and making sure that I blend it everywhere, especially your ears and down your neck so that way it doesn't look like you have like spots of different colors on your face. And then I'm just going to be going in with the Beauty Blender and further blending it out. 
Then taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I'm just going to be putting it underneath my eyes in a triangle. And then I'm going to be putting it in the areas where I want to highlight. So that means my chin, my nose bridge, and a little bit on my forehead. But I didn't want to put it exactly on there because my forehead's kind of shiny already. So we're just going to leave that highlight out. And I'm just going to be blending it in with my Beauty Blender. Then taking my CoverGirl translucent powder, I'm just going to be using my beauty blender and I'm really going to pack that on so that way we could bake. And this will just make your concealer look very full coverage, flawless, and set in your makeup all day. Then I'm going to be using the Maybelline concealer but in a darker shade so that way I would bronze up my cheeks just like I am doing right here. And I'm going to be using the same beauty blender because whatever I'm kind of lazy so I'm just blending it out and then after I'm done blending it out I'm gonna flip it to the other side and I'm gonna use the access powder that's on in my beauty blender and I'm just going to set that in Then taking my next contour and highlight palette, I'm going to be using this shade right here and I'm just going to be continuing to bronze up these sides. And it's very important that you set it before you do this because that's how you will prevent the whole muddy looking bronzing and contouring. <music> taking more of that translucent powder I'm gonna be baking underneath where I put my contour slash bronzing so that way it looks very clean then I'm gonna be using the Lumi I guess glotion and I'm gonna be putting that on my collarbones and it'll look so nice if you are wearing like a strapless kind of dress if you're gonna wear it for prom so I just thought this was pretty cool and I'm just gonna be applying on some highlighter in on my collarbones and of course we can't forget the bronzing then taking a fluffy brush I'm just going to brush away the I guess the translucent powder and I'm going to use whatever is on that brush to kind of set around my whole face using that same lotion gosh I love this lotion so much L'Oreal please sponsor me but I'm just gonna be putting that in my cheekbones to really get that highlight and along my nose and I'm just gonna be blending it out with my beauty blender <laughs> And as you guys can see, highlighter really makes me pumped up. Okay, back to being serious again. Then I'm going to be using my Becca highlighter and I'm just going to be highlighting on top of where I put the glotion on. So that way I look super glowy wherever I'm going to go. Then taking a lip liner from NYX that's kind of close to my lip color anyway. Really, this makeup look, it would look so good if I had a nude lipstick, but I don't. So I'm just going to use what I have right here. And I'm just going to be aligning my lips. And then I'm going to be taking the NYX gloss in the shade... Um, let's see, in the shade Sugar Pie, and I'm just going to be glossing up my lips because this is a glowy look, and after you're done with that, you are all done, and this is the makeup look. This look is so gorgeous, and it is perfect for any occasion where you're going to go out, especially for prom, so give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it, and subscribe for more videos like this from me, and comment down below when your guys' prom is, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.